Hey there, my name is John Siskovich, and today's video is about the right chicken tractor for you in your area. So let's start with the three main types of chicken tractors. We have the Salatin chicken tractor, and we have to always give a nod to Joel Salatin, who kind of really founded this movement of people raising chickens on grass. He's the guy who launched it with Pasture Poultry Profits, and there are a lot of people who have gotten started and have continued with his uh, 10 foot wide by 12 foot long chicken tractors. Now mine, I actually built a Salatin chicken tractor and let's just also take a moment to appreciate Salatin, Siskovich, and Simpson, all S's. We have great alliteration here. Now with the Siskovich chicken tractor, I built a Salatin tractor and didn't like it. It wasn't gonna work for me specifically, so I redesigned it, put a new uh, top on it, changed the dimensions up a little bit, made it to fit with inside the trailer that I was using to make it mobile on my farm, and this worked out well for my area. I started advertising it at, just to sell my chickens, and uh, I've had people ask me for the plan, so I created plans. Now, the Simpson ch Chicken Tractor is uh, by Darby Simpson. Uh, if you don't know him, uh, you should check out Grass-Fed Life with uh, Diego Footer and Darby Simpson. They put out a ton of good content. Darby really knows what he's talking about. He's a guy that I know and respect. He uh, totally stole my book idea and created chicken tractor plans for his style. It's one that you may have seen before. It's the, the cattle panel stretched with a 2x4 frame. He did a real good job of putting the plans together and he sells that through Grass-Fed Life. I want to talk about which ones work out really well and uh, what are some of the benefits of each. Now, with the Salatin chicken tractor here it's lower to the ground 10 foot by 12 foot space uh, it doesn't get caught by the wind as much so it stays low to the ground but because of that in this southern hemisphere in the more southern states of the United States uh, they also have lovingly named it the easy bake oven because the chickens get in there and they're uh, covered up and if you don't have good airflow and you don't have good wind they can overheat especially in Texas in the summer Nothing against Joel Salatin. We love Joel Salatin, but it may not work in Texas. So they've also moved, they moved, people down there have started to move to different models. For the Siskovich chicken tractor, I would say from 100 chickens to the like uh, 2,500 chicken range, you uh, it works out really well. Where you can get in, you can work with the birds on a day-to-day -day basis. Pretty much anybody can move in, so it works on a great uh, works great on a small scale. It fits between uh, orchard rows, hop yards. Uh, it's a very versatile thing that looks really good and uh, it's a little classy especially when you have a bunch in a row um, and that works well for that small to medium scale now as you scale up you're gonna get into something like the Darby Simpson tractor which I know there are other growers at uh, larger scales using in the 2500 to let's say 10,000 chicken range you know, 2500 to I don't know 5,000 um, where they're again like that 10 by 12 footprint maybe a little bit bigger and they can fit more birds per tractor. The more birds per tractor, when you're moving one chicken tractor, you are getting the efficiency of moving all of those birds at one time instead of moving many chicken tractors with many birds. Now, you could scrap all of these as you get bigger and do something like the Prairie Schooner, which comes out of Featherman. And uh, there's a down in Texas, there are APA members. If you join APA, you'll hear all about the Prairie Schooner, where you can fit five to 600 birds per chicken tractor and that makes a lot of sense when all your feeders, all your waters, all your move happens all at once, all your birds move and you have you can have an entire batch of chickens just in one chicken house. What I like about mine is that I can walk in, uh, I can handle the birds and see the birds every day. I'm not picking them up but I can see how they're doing, how fast they run away from my footsteps uh, so that I can see if anybody's lethargic or a little sick. Um, I, there's good airflow through them, so they're they're better in the warmer climates, and then they can be adapted to suit whatever your needs are. Uh, whether you need to make them a little taller, whether you need to make them a little bit bigger. I have people who have made double-sized versions of the Siskovich tractors. Um, what you land on depends on what your area, but. The Salatin tractors, if you have a high wind area and you need to keep things low, it's really good. Plus you're moving more birds per tractor. Uh, if you want small versatility, you can go with the Siskovich tractor or the Darby Simpson tractor or tr chicken tractor. You can go with if you're starting to scale up and you're looking at not yet at the huge like 
500 to 1,000 bird mobile pasture coops, um, but you could fit 120 to 200 to 400 in something like this, depending on the total square footage. Now, the myth that you can create these things for $5 of the DIY $5 chicken tractor, yes, you could make that, but it's probably only gonna last you one year. What you get in the chicken tractor plans that I've published, that Darby's uh, published, is uh, explanations of the materials that you use, why you use it, uh, and the investment that you make up front in your chicken tractor is gonna make it last uh, throughout the years. I built my first set in 2013, and aside from a few little improvements and a few little tweaks here and there, they're still going strong. I still have them out in the field today. For those plans, you can go to farmmarketingsolutions.com forward slash store, or I will have links to Joel's book and Darby's stuff uh, in the show notes for this uh, YouTube video. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and until next time, I will see you out in the field.